Hello all. Today in data expedition, let's understand types of data with simple examples. This is part 1 of statistics series. Types of data. There are two types of data. That is numerical and categorical. So let's consider an example here. Sam likes a shirt. He pays $50 to buy that from his favorite store. Here he can buy a shirt or a pant that are categories. These are called categorical data. Whereas he pays $50 as a money that is numeric value that is numerical data. Numerical data is divided into discrete and continuous data. Discrete data is usually a whole number that is discrete values. Sam can purchase a single shirt, two shirt, three shirt, but he cannot have three and half shirt or three one fourth of a shirt. Every value is uniquely identified that is discrete data. Whereas continuous data is usually a decimal number. Like in our example, cost of a shirt can be $50, $50 one cent or $49.99. But that is possible. Here there is no discrete value. Rather the numbers are continuous. That is why it is called continuous data. Categorical data is again divided into nominal and ordinal data. Nominal data. Nomen means name in Latin. If you can name a category, it is called nominal. In our example, customer name can be Sam, Bob or any other name. This is nominal data. Customer can buy shirt or a pant. These are names of the item. So again, it is a nominal data. Ordinal data. If a category follows an order, it is an ordinal data. Shirt can have three sizes. Small, medium and large. It is not numeric, it is categorical and it has an order, small, medium and large. It cannot be small, large and medium. That is, the order is important here. This is called ordinal data. Now let us look into the whole table and figure out what each column means. Customer name and item category. That's right, it is a nominal data. Size is an ordinal, quantity is discrete, cost is continuous. This is the end of part 1.